Right, good morning guys and girls. Welcome to this week's video. Well, as you guessed, we're out in the forest today. It's been a while since I've been down here. I thought I'd uh, just come out for a bit of mental cleansing. Um, the one thing I noticed this year is the masses and masses of uh, biting insects. I'm sure that uh, a few of you have had to uh, deal with them before. So uh, what I thought I'd do is uh, do a little review of a product I've got hold of recently, which uh, will knock all of that business on the head and uh, also show you a few other, other things that I use uh, to keep those uh, nasty little nibs at bay. So we're in a birch marsh today, so it's pretty dark, it's pretty boggy, it's wet. So this is prolific breeding ground for mosquitoes and midges. You'll find that they will attack you throughout the day here. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. The easiest way to stop mosquitoes and midges biting you is to stay out of areas like this, but that doesn't happen all the time, especially if you're passing through an area on a hiking adventure. It depends whereabouts you are in the world as to what's going to be attacking you. I mean, you've got things like black flies, sand flies, horse flies, mosquitoes, midges, they'll all want a piece of you. So the next thing is repellent. Now there's loads of repellent on the market. We're going to take a look at the three that work for me in just a second. Now what you do need to remember is mosquito repellent or midge repellent is not going to stop all forms of biting insects. Any repellent that you put on will probably not stop things like horseflies from uh, from attacking you. So one of the most simplest methods to stop all of these uh, insects from biting you is to cover up. Make sure you've got long sleeves on, you're not wearing shorts when you're walking through this environment and that the uh, quality of the fabric that you're wearing is thick so that the insects can't bite through. We're going to take a look at a fantastic piece of kit that's uh, been developed in Canada in just a second that is an absolute game changer when it comes to stopping insects from biting you. The next thing is head nets. Now head nets are absolutely brilliant at keeping those nasties off your face and off your neck and things. The one thing that you do need to remember is the mesh size. So you can have a mosquito net that will keep the mosquitoes away but it will not stop the nose and things like that going through the mesh to get hold of your skin. I remember when we camped in the Lake District a couple of weeks ago, we were in the camper van, we'd opened the side of the tent on the top and uh, yeah, it stopped the mozzies coming in, but we got plagued by uh, midges all the way through the night. Right, so let's take a look at a couple of repellents that I've brought out with me today. So the first one we're going to take a look at today is uh, this uh, spray repellent here by a Swedish company called uh, Schur Okhav. And this is for mosquitoes and this is for midges. Smells really, really good and it works, which is the main thing. I'm one of these people that will get bitten no matter what. Everyone else can wear repellent, but I will still get bitten. But this one is just a spray and then just a rub around and it smells really, really good. And the most important thing is this works. Right, so the next one we're gonna take a look at is Nordic Summer. And this is produced by Wilmers Nature Products up in Northern Sweden. Uh, this has been produced to an age old recipe for generations. It's produced as a salve. It really, really smells and it is definitely a quiet smell. Some people can't stand it. It's sort of how I expect a Wookiee's armpit to smell to be perfectly honest. 
but it really really smells of sort of pine tar of deep dark sort of boggy forests uh, up in Scandinavia but all you need to do with that is just take a little bit of rub on that rub it onto exposed skin onto your pulse points and away you go this is one that I would definitely recommend right the next one that we've got here is Miga this is another Swedish one here. Now, I really, really believe in these products from Sweden because they are absolutely plagued by, uh, by mozzies, midges, black flies, everything up there in their neck of the woods. Now, this one here, this Miga, this comes, this is in a, this is a roll-on, this one is here, as you can see. But you can get this in a lotion, you can get this in a spray. But this is an absolute brilliant one. And if I was to pick one, this would be the one that I would pick. So we all know how important protection is, and we spoke about protection, about covering your arms up earlier on. Now, I've seen this product on a few videos before, especially um, uh, by the Canadian uh, YouTubers and things, where they are absolutely hounded by biting insects. And I uh, found a company in the UK that actually supply these. So these are by a Canadian company called uh, The Original Bug Shirt, and these are now supplied in the UK by a company called Midgard. So there's two types of this product. You've got a natural cotton, and you've also got a microfiber. Both of these products are produced using a really, really densely woven fabric, so it's gonna stop any of those insects getting through and uh, biting your skin. So like I said, it packs up in its kangaroo pouch, so all we need to do is just open up the pouch, unfold it, and there we go, we've got our shirt. So let's get this on and take a look at how it is. So it's a pullover jacket with a lovely hood. We've got a drawstring around the waist here so you can get that tight around there to stop anything from crawling up underneath. You've got elasticated cuffs, these could be a bit fiddly. So that's gonna stop anything from going up, up there. And then most importantly, the hood. Plenty of space in the hood. You've got two zippers on either side of this. So obviously those zippers can be moved around so you can open from that side, you can open from that side if you just want to pass some food or something inside. So you've got a drawstring on the back here so you can pull that in and that's going to help with your peripheral vision on the sides there as well and also it's going to help keep that mesh just off your face a little bit as well. Now speaking about the mesh inside of this uh, this hood here, it's all black as you can see there and that helps with your vision as well. If you had a different coloured uh, mesh it would really really screw your eyes up but uh, looking through this, this isn't too bad at all. So the shape of the sleeve is designed in a specific way so it wraps the elbow so that's going to prevent any attack from uh, these areas around here which are normally a point that you're going to get attacked on. Pocket wise so on the front of the jacket you've obviously got your big kangaroo pouch there that uh, you can fold the jacket up into and we'll have a look at how we're going to fold the jacket back as well and then you've also got this little pocket on the front here where you can uh, stash all sorts of little bits inside of that. So do I rate this jacket? Yes definitely it is absolutely brilliant brilliant at uh, bug protection. Well worth it, bit pricey, it uh, retails at about £80 in the UK, but then again you get what you pay for. If you want to have an absolute fantastic adventure and stop all those bugs from really really making it dreadful, then it's worth investing in something like this. So what we've arranged with midgard.co.uk is we've arranged a 10% discount to anyone that watches this video. The code is just down in the corner just down there for you so please follow the link in the description below to Midgard and uh, you can use that 10% discount code there. So you can just randomly stuff the shirt inside its kangaroo pocket there but uh, if you fold this up it's a lot it packs up a lot flatter so let's just have a look how you fold the jacket up. So if you lay the jacket down on its front and then just take the bottom here and fold that up on the back there so you've basically got just the bottom part of the pocket just there and then if you bring one arm all the way across but you just fold the sides in as well lift that arm up to there same again on that side arm across arm up fold the bottom in and then you can just bring your hood down and then bring this piece down to the middle and then over again and then all you need to do is just feed it inside
And there we go. All packed up nice and neatly. Right, so that basically wraps up this week's video, guys. So that's a quick look at the original bug shirt, and it's available in the UK by midgeguard.co.uk. I'll stick a link to them in the description below. And also, don't forget the 10% discount, which is in the description below as well. I'll stick links to all of the other products and everything that we've taken a look at, which will hopefully ease the nasties bite in you. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel before, then please hit the subscribe button just below there. And as always, a couple of videos for you to take a look at, and we'll see you next week on the next one.